video, let's talk about why is it better to study for shorter periods, say two hours at a time, than studying for five hours all in one shot. So I've been a tutor since 2005. So I have been tutoring dental hygiene and dental assisting students past the board exam, and I always get feedback after they take the exam. Of course, whether they pass or fail, they don't find out right away. It might be a month or two later, and then I get feedback after that as well. But typically, students will tell me the ones that are more confident, they say that they had studied for shorter periods. It's the ones that say that they study six hours a day till two in the morning for five months. They are burnt out and they don't do nearly as well and sometimes even fail the exam. So this is why shorter periods are better. I suggest for my students to study two hours at a time, at least two hours a day, maximum six hours a day. I say two hours a day if they work full time, if they're in school, if they have a family commitment that day, it's going to be hard to study six hours a day for those people. But if you have the day off, if you've taken a month off before the board exam to really study, then I suggest six hours a day, but two hours at a time, say two hours in the, in the morning, take a break, do something else, clean your room, whatever. Two hours again in the afternoon and then two hours in the evening before you go to bed. Every student is different though. I found when I was studying for the board exam a long time ago, I didn't study very well in the morning. I preferred to do what I had to do in the morning, such as running errands, laundry, maybe even just doing something with family. I studied better when I got back, so in the afternoon and then the evening, but other people are different. They might prefer to study in the morning so they know that they get a break after that and can do other things. But if you're trying to study for six hours at a time, it doesn't work because your brain gets tired. You get tired overall, you're exhausted, but you're also upset. Imagine studying for six hours from your textbook, from your notes, even studying from my course. If you're studying for six hours, after that six hours, I doubt you remember six hours of material. So you might try to study the next day that material again, and you'll be thinking to yourself, oh my goodness, I don't remember any of this. But I studied for six hours yesterday. How is this possible? You get upset. You get annoyed and then you lose focus. So then the next day, your studying doesn't go well. You might try to study for six hours again because you feel like, oh my goodness, I studied for six hours yesterday. That didn't go well. I had to do it again. Something happened. But you've already lost focus. You're upset. So if you study for six hours again, the same thing is going to happen. It's physically impossible for our brains to retain that information. So those that study more don't always study harder and they're not doing the best form of study. You have to be focused. You have to do a couple hours at a time, focus studying so you really retain the information. After two hours, I encourage you, try to study for two hours a topic, any topic you want, and then go back that afternoon or the next day even, and then try to study that material again. You would have remembered so much more than if you studied six hours of the same topic, go back again, and you won't be able to remember anything. So I really encourage you to try. I have heard from students who have done it both ways after taking the board exam, those who have passed and those who have failed. And it is by, by a large amount that students who study for a couple hours and less studying, but perhaps for longer, they pass the exam. They feel more confident. Those that study so much, too much until 2 a.m. They're hardly getting any sleep. They do not pass the exam. They get annoyed. They get frustrated. And of course, the goal is to pass. Okay. So I hope this helps you guys. Comment below with any questions. If you are wondering, I do teach in the Board Exam Prep Academy a full VIP package for dental hygiene students. And I do have a separate course for dental assisting students as well, helping you pass the board exam. Focused studying is key. I have everything outlined for you in modules so you know 
know exactly what to study per week and how many hours to study. So remember, if you take away anything from this, two hours in increments, a little bit at a time. Study at least two hours a day, but not more than six hours per day. And focused studying is key. Thank you guys for watching. Click like if you like this video. That does help me in my channel. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.